bringing you the news and information you need from the people making a difference. This is Comcast Newsmakers. Getting to the hospital means one thing, of course, and that means to get well. How important is that? Especially when you know you can get an infection at the hospital. That's not what we want. Hello, everyone. I'm Joe Basicchia. This is Comcast Newsmakers. He is Dr. Herb Conaway of New Jersey's 7th Legislative District. He chairs the Assembly's Health Committee. We're going to talk about combating health hospital infections. Good to see you. Glad to be here. It's been there since the beginning of time, staff infections. Uh, well, we didn't have hospitals since the beginning of mm -hmm. time. But the reality is infection is a tough uh, tough opponent, isn't it? It can be a tough opponent, and, and we in the healthcare system, physicians battle uh, these bacterial infections all the time. As we develop antibiotics, uh, the bacteria respond in an evolutionary way to combat the antibiotics that we uh, put on them. And uh, over time, with the use of antibiotics, and indeed, unfortunately, the injudicious use of antibiotics, we have now trained some bacteria to be particularly resistant to some of the um, high-powered antibiotics that we use. Those infections, those bacteria can cause infections in hospitals when people go in the hospital, and even outside of the hospital, that can be very costly to treat, can cause a lot of disability, cause a lot of death uh, when people acquire them. And we have seen a dramatic increase over the last uh, 20, 30 years of the number of people that suffer from infections that they inquire, excuse me, acquire as a result of their hospitalization. And it's time that we take steps, uh, as others have done, other states, other countries have done, to reduce the incidence of these hospital-acquired infections. How do we get hospitals at the table for this? Because hospitals, I would imagine, would be wanting to do this as well. Mm -hmm. Are they feeling uh, defensive about this, or are they on the on board? Well, this is a relatively new proposal. We haven't heard back from the hospital association yet, and, and hospital uh, 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 administration and physicians who work there, most hospitals, all hospitals, have a, a, some kind of an infectious disease program where they try to control the use of antibiotics in the hospital because we understand that that antibiotic use has a lot to do with recreating resistance in hospitals. And if you go around and measure and uh, look at the kinds of bacteria that are prevalent in hospitals, you can tie the, 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 the kind of bacteria, the strains of bacteria, back to the way antibiotics were used used. We understand this. And so we try to control their use by putting uh, specialists in this area in charge and approving certain things in the hospital in order to reduce that rate. There are some things that are difficult to help, uh, though. Uh, if you have to go and have a, a line put in you, which often people have in the hospital, or you have a breathing tube put in you, those things expose the body to these pathogens, these bacteria, that can be very problematic. What needs to happen is that hospitals need to redouble their efforts to increase hand washing uh, among people who handle, that's physicians, those are nurses, those are other people that handle uh, and are involved with patients. They need to do a much better job at surveilling for these important bacterial infections. In Europe, when you come to the hospital, they do swabs and other things to, to identify whether or not you are bringing into the hospital some of, this, uh, some of these dangerous bacterial pathogens. And if that's the case, then you're isolated in the hospital, you, you, they're, they're thereby reducing greatly the risk that you, you bring into the hospital something that then starts to walk around with hospital personnel then, and then affecting other have patients. Life of its own. But how important is it also to have the whole thing as a, to expedite the whole process and maybe get the patient in and out as quickly well, as possible? That's certainly very important and a lot of what we've done in, in improving uh, the way in which uh, hospital patients are managed uh, goes to that point. Uh, improving the access and the use of antibiotics, making sure that they use things that the least effective medicine. You start to save your big guns for the really tough infections. You want to use the sort of routine things that work. You don't want to try the newest and best. You need to save that in case, because remember, the bacteria out there in an evolutionary way, they respond to what they're exposed to, they develop defenses to these antibiotics, and so there's a never-ending race, like an arms race, between the antibiotics that we apply to kill bacterial infections and the, and the ability of bacteria to respond and defend against the, the antibiotics that we use. So we need to change what we do, and we'll reduce costs, save lives, improve outcomes. Always good to see you. Glad to be here. He's a doctor. He's also an assemblyman of the 7th Legislative District. Has the chair. He's the chair of the Assembly's Health Committee. I'm Joe Basicchia for Comcast Newsmakers with Dr. Herb Conaway. Thanks for watching.